<laughs> what have you learned about your offense since the first time you played TCU? Um, shoot, it's a game of inches. You know, I mean, it's, uh, you know, a couple plays on that uh, first drive of the third quarter, you know, are, are huge, you know, and, and you play, uh, you know, in those big games against, you know, great teams. It's, it, it's going to be, it's going to be a game of inches, you know, and, and if that's a first down play, second down play, or a third down play on the third, fourth, fifth, sixth drive of the game, uh, you know, we, we got to scratch and, and claw for every inch, you know, because it, it might be the difference. Even with uh, Will's knowledge of the program, he sat on the sidelines for six games. Was there a reluctance to throw too much at him in that first game? Oh, no. We were, <laughs> you know, and, and again, just how, how it all happened. I mean, you know, we uh, didn't, didn't know it was going to go down the way, way it did. And so it, it did, and, and we came out guns blazing, you know, and, and just saying, hey, it's uh, – because, I, I mean, having been around Will for as long and, and worked together like he and I have, you know, we know each other pretty well. Um, you know, he, he studies and, you know, and, and prepares his rear end off, so – so no, it was obviously they're you know they're different players, but it was oh no, everything's coming out because we gotta we gotta find a way to score points and, and do the best we can to win. Where in college football do you get a rematch from the regular season like this? How do you kind of prepare for the chess match that's going to be going on? You know, it's uh, it's it's definitely different. I think uh, it, it's been interesting. You know, even kind of self scouting ourselves and kind of how we've grown and developed through the year. Uh, they have too, you know, and, and they're doing some different things, um, uh, you know, than they were six weeks ago, you know, and, and uh, credit to them. And, and again, I've got a ton, a ton of respect for Coach Gillespie and what he's done because their defense is, is uh, they're, they're flying around right now, you know, and, and, uh, really hitting hitting their fits, I think, a lot faster in, on some things, and uh, you can tell just now they've had a season, you know, with with their new staff and new coordinators, and and uh, you know, but we have two, so it, it'll it'll be a fun challenge. He, he may not be a surprise to you, but he might have caught TCU off guard a little bit, the way Will was throwing the ball around the field. Now that they've seen him, they did some adjustments in the second half of that game. Do you think they'll get more aggressive at? at the line of scrimmage and try to pressure that pocket a little bit more? Yeah, I think it's something that you saw even through the game. You know, I mean, the first third and 16, they're in Tampa too, and, you know, rips the uh, seam to Malik, and I uh, didn't see that the rest of the day, <laughs> you know? And and so, you know, sure, I, I think, uh, you know, and even last week, you know, on some things, you know, I think uh, a little bit more pressure, which, you know, is something that we've drawn, um, you know, through the year. and. Uh, uh, you know they're going to make us win and, and beat man coverage. You know, and uh, but our, our guys have been doing that and are prepared for it, and uh, excited to watch them do their thing. On Tuesday, Chris, Coach Kleiman said that uh, talking about Adrian, you guys would know a little bit <coughs> later in the week if he would be available. Do you have any idea on his ability? You know, he, he's been pushing himself, working hard. I think we'll know, you know, by the end of the day. I bet. What Ben Sennett has been able to do. Obviously, he got first team uh, mm -hmm. uh, tight end for the Big 12. Just how impressive has his performance been this year? You know, he, he's made some huge plays at, at some huge times, you know, and, and uh, it's fun to watch. He and Will are really, really close, you know, and, and watching how they're uh, both those guys, they, they love competing, they love, uh, they love practicing, you know, and, and working hard. And so those guys are. Just yesterday, you know, making fun of one another for something, you know, <laughs> and uh, but having fun, getting better at their craft, and and we've known, you know, Ben's a uh, he's an instinctual football player. He's got great ball skills and tools, and uh, you know, when you're out there and, and you're going to battle with your teammates and having that much fun, it's good things happen. Percentage of ta talents, abilities on evident on film, or at what point did <coughs> they really start to become evident? I think is you know. I think his after his first year, you know, I think is when we knew he was going to be a good player. Um, you know, I think then you then you look and you look at some of the catches he made. You know, you look at how naturally bends and, and can strike people. Then you're like, and then he was able to put on weight and get stronger after that first year. Then you're like, you know, shoot, there's uh, you know he he could really be dynamic. You know, but 
you know, even then, and I tell all of our guys all the time, I mean, uh, potential doesn't mean jack. I mean, you know, and, and talent at the end of the day, until you get the opportunity to go out and do it, and then in, until you go out and do it, uh, it doesn't mean much. And he's done it, and credit to him. <clears throat> kind of mindset to win a championship game setting? Uh, I almost tend to go the other way of saying, you know, we've been in a one week season since week, really, probably even the week one, but definitely week three, you know, and just, hey, let's put our head down and, and uh, you know, focus on one at a time. And it happens to be the 13th step in that journey of the 13 week season. But uh, I think our guys, we're, we're where we're at because they've really bought into that and lived it. And, I haven't felt much of a sense, and, and I don't want them to think of this as anything else because it's, an, it's, it's another challenge and, and it's another one-week season. You're playing a team for the second time. Do you have to balance going with what you know has worked and it's on film against maybe outthinking yourself and getting too carried away? <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great question. and. You got that formula. Let's let's sit down and talk <laughs> perfectly. Um, you know, and because you, you're exactly right. You know, we can't outthink ourselves. We can't try to do too much. Trying to get two steps ahead of everything, and then and then screwing ourselves. So no, we gotta. Uh, you know, we gotta be patient. We gotta you know go with and and stay within ourselves, and and ultimately just try to give our you know give our playmakers and and let our guys do their thing. You know, in, in good rhythm and uh, and get them going. That you hoisted the Big 12 championship trophy. <laughs> um, now these guys have the opportunity to do it again. Just what's the specialness in that achievement? Well, that's a more fond memory than last time. <laughs> <Just down here. laughs> uh, no, I mean, I think, uh, you know, it, it, again, it's, it's surreal. You know, even in the moment, you don't even really know what's going on because you're, again, just in that, in that next step, you know, me mentality. Um, you know, but uh, hope that all of us are able to keep our heads down and, and do what we need to do to make sure that everything gets done how it needs to, and and then they shift out of that mode and are able to soak it up as much as they can. Going back to last week, what went into the decision to run, be so run heavy in the second half? You know, it was a it, it was a weird game, you know, and, and it was something that we wanted to do. Uh, you know, and, and we want to do and needed to establish the line of scrimmage, you know, and, and because of some explosive plays, you know, a quick possession here or there, uh, didn't really get that done. You know, they had made some adjustments and, and a couple things that uh, on that first and second down on, you know, backed up that, you know, they changed how they played some things, you know, so then you're not able to get into a rhythm running the football. We'd covered for ourselves by making some big plays, um, you know, so we hadn't been able to do that, even though we obviously moved the ball and, and been successful. So I think that was a point of emphasis. You know, it was uh, at the end of the second quarter, the weather was really starting to become a factor and some of our guys have, have been able to grip the football and, and operate, you know, that was becoming more of a challenge. Didn't know it would morph into as much as it did, but we were able to be successful and and, and establish it and and kind of just suck the uh, you know any of the space out of out of it you know and that was um, credit to our guys up front and and backs for for finishing the deal. One or two more. We talk a lot about a, a lot of the other offensive linemen, <clears throat> but we don't we don't talk a lot about Christian Duffy. How <laughs> how how important is having? <clears throat> Just that stability and, and a rock on that that right end to kind of carry you guys through. Well, you said it. I mean, he's he's steady. You know, he's uh, uh, you know just uh, an unbelievable teammate. You know, works his butt off. I mean, as you said, I mean, hasn't missed a game, doesn't miss, hasn't missed a practice. Just uh, you know, and he's he's played a lot of football. You know, in, in his experience, and uh, you know, it's in games like this that that's going to carry the day. Has Panzer made the kind of progress? You guys would have anticipated. Uh, uh, Hadley's—he's he, a warrior. I mean, you know what? We get to week 13; it doesn't matter. Everybody's body's hurting, and, and he's—he's he's dinged up, no different than than a lot of our guys. And and how he's been able to continue to fight through that and and improve is, uh, you know, super uh, credit to him.